Hello, welcome to Castanet Penticton's Mayor's Minute. I'm Colin Dacre, joined here by the Mayor, Andrew Jacobay. Hello. So, uh, a couple relatively big uh, announcements recently. Um, and, uh, well, the big issue that's been dominating City Hall, uh, I would argue, over the past uh, six weeks, two months, uh, just kind of vagrancy and safety in downtown. Your city manager's been making... Uh, I'm not going to say making a lot of noise. He, he had a, a presentation at City Council last week, kind of uh, gave councillors a, a virtual tour of, uh, I guess, some of the images he's captured over the past uh, uh, 18 months or so that he's been here. Um, but we've also heard about a lot of uh, progress and a, a lot of, I guess, stances that the city has taken, a, a large push of bylaw and RCMP downtown. Um, what, what do you think, uh, as a small business owner downtown and the mayor, um, so far, do you like what you see so far? Yeah, I mean, last week was uh, more of an update of what's happening, and there's a working group, so it's not just the city, uh, you know, the chamber, the Downtown Pentagon Association, and a couple other stakeholders are sort of uh, trying to figure out uh, how to address the, the situation, and, you know, some of it is just adding more lighting downtown in the back alleys. Uh, some of it is crime prevention through ergonomic design, so just uh, where do we put some garbage cans or uh, limbing up trees so the, the shrubbery isn't, isn't covering up the nefarious activities. Uh, so, you know, we have, uh, you know, I've seen and, and others have commented on a more of a presence from RCMP and, and bylaw, so I think that's, that's good. Uh, we've got private security going through uh, the four parks downtown. You know, so moving people along, I think that's uh, that's good, and I think that was part of the, you know, the mandate uh, council made was, you know, let's uh, let's make it uncomfortable for people to continue with bad behavior because uh, we have we have very little tolerance for that in in, in, in public places, especially, and so uh, that that we've seen that increased enforcement, and uh, but with that increased enforcement, we also need to have. Um, uh, the ability to address some of the social side of things and, and those who are vulnerable or ready for change that we have uh, some solutions for them. So last week there was some big announcements. Um, one was from BC Housing. Uh, they have uh, 62 modular units that they want to build on uh, the periphery of downtown on, on Winnipeg. So that's geared mainly for, for homeless. Um, and then uh, the province also came up with a $50,000 grant to get uh, CAST, a Community Active Support Table, established. And that really, uh, you, you heard the superintendent introduce that model a few months ago. And uh, that's really getting all the stakeholders, nonprofits, social agencies, government and protective agencies together in one room. And, and they will, on a weekly basis, talk about person X and identify a strategy to help person X uh, with their addiction or getting home, uh, getting housed or uh, getting the counseling they need, whatever it is to help uh, him or her uh, become a bit more of a productive member of our community and not a burden on the protective services or other agencies. Uh, that's what that model is supposed to help. So uh, those, are, those are good news. So this is a, a big push right now driven uh, partially by uh, the city's bylaw department, which is uh, uh, quite a bit larger right now with seasonal staff. Um, is this going to be, is the city going to be able to keep up the pressure? Uh, in the winter, in the fall, when those uh, seasonal staff leave and, uh, well, the tourists leave? Yeah, I, I mean, the big push that you're seeing right now, I don't think is sustainable uh, 12 months a year. Having said that, you know, we did uh, increase our, our bylaw and uh, right now they're also working into the, into the night. So come fall, winter, they might not be working uh, five days a week in, you know, till, till 9.30 or, or 10.30 or 11 at night. Uh, we've, you know, last year added our uh, RCMP uh, a member and increased their budget. So I suspect that'll be a budget conversation again this year. Um, so yeah, we are investing, uh, but we're also, you know, uh, at UBCM we will be talking to uh, a couple member, a couple ministers. Uh, one about getting more rural policing, lobbying for more rural, rural police officers. Also with the attorney general uh, dealing with. Um, prolific offenders and intermittent sentences uh, and those type of things to, uh, you know, ensure that there's more of a consequence, uh, not just for drug related, but uh, if you're a prolific offender, uh, because the property crime is still probably the biggest thing that uh, is uh, an issue for, for our region that uh, we would like to see uh, more help coming from the province on. So it's, uh, I think it has to be a multi-pronged uh, approach to sort of deal with uh, 
uh, some of the issues and problems we're having in our community. So going back to the uh, the 62 units from BC Housing mm -hmm. announced uh, Winnipeg Street there. So that's uh, not going to any public hearing because uh, it, it fits the zoning uh, and everything like that. Uh, unlike the last uh, suggested location on uh, Green uh, mm -hmm. Avenue there, which uh, council is faced with a large backlash from the community. Uh, are, are you glad uh, as mayor of council um, that that decision's out of your hands in a way? Well, I think, um, and at that public hearing, we'll use the Green Avenue as an example, 95% of the people that spoke, you know, said, uh, you know, we need housing or, or housing is important. Just having, uh, you know, we already have 46, so I had another 52 units there. That's too big of a massing. Plus, you know, we're right by the schools. You know, those are the arguments. Uh, I think most people understand housing, housing is important and to deal with uh, some of the homelessness and addictions that we have here. Um, housing, housing first strategies is probably the best way to get them and, and their shopping carts and everything off the street uh, into, into a, a unit that they can call their own and sort of regain some dignity and get back, integrate themselves back in the community. I think, I think there's support for that. I don't think there's ever going to be the ideal location and everyone's going to uh, be excited about, but uh, Ask Wellness is there to provide that 24-7 security and uh, services and supports uh, for, for those that are going to be there and I think that's going to mitigate the uh, impact to the surrounding community and the, the larger community as a whole. Alright, that was this week's Castanet Penticton's Mayor's Minute. If you have a question you'd like to submit, you can send it to letters at castanet.net. Until next time.